So that was my second time in Colorado this summer. The drone footage that I just showed documented my favorite hike of the trip, Chihuahua Lake Trail. You know, there's still a lot of GoPro footages, like the one I'm showing now. The water must have a lot of minerals in there. I mean, it is Cambridge Boot. Um, did I talk too much? Because our trip did not start like this. Nor this. Yes, yes, yes. Day one of the trip. Yo, let's do it. So let's start from the beginning. Marcos, Josh, Sean, and I left Bloomington, Indiana, August 1st. And our destination is Silver Throne, Colorado. It is a 17 hour drive, so obviously we cannot make it in a day. Instead, Josh and I made a detour to Des Moines, which took eight and a half hours. We're in Des Moines. Joshi. We stopped there for a Vietnamese restaurant and ate our dinner on the grassland in the city center. From Vietnamese restaurant. The owners are nice enough to give us an extra appetizer for free shrimp. We're now in this park. What's up? What's up? Cool. Okay, I'm Oh, I forgot to mention. We also passed through Bloomington, Illinois. We're in Bloomington, Indiana. Or Bloomington, Illinois. We drove two more hours and reached Omaha, Nebraska for the night. Our friend Ryan is a local at Omaha. He took us to the border of Iowa and Nebraska the night we arrived. We spent a night in Ryan's living room and left for Colorado the second morning. Here comes a room tour of our apartment in Colorado. It seriously blew my mind. Hey, Josan! Josan! Marcos! Josan! Beautiful morning. How beautiful day started. Sean and I also did a small creative project with Marcos. Not so bad. Ryan hikes like a rocket. He is long gone and not in the frame. The one at last? That's me trying to get the drone shot that I'm showing right now. Soon the terrain changes. After two hours, we're up in the mountains and we need to take a lunch break. We saw this jeep passing by. At first, I thought it would be impossible for any vehicles to drive on this terrain. Hi. What happened later at night Good. really enlightened my outdoor knowledge.
Okay, I want to show a little bit behind the scene. This is the perspective from my friends when I'm filming these strong shots. This might bore you guys and certainly is boring my friends, but it takes what needs to be done to get those epic shots. Sorry guys. We kept walking deep into the woods at a spot we have to cross the stream. Thank God I have waterproof boots. The hike kept going up. After we reached the flat plain, the sky started to rain, but luckily it did not rain too long. Most drone clips on this trip are definitely the best I've ever got. I always want to make movies, but this is more of a documentary I think. My favorite moment of the day is definitely crossing the streams. One thing is because I never really got to test out my waterproof boots and this is such a good time. And then we got to the spot that the majority of the trail is flooded by the stream. While Josh decided to take a detour, I decided to take my boots to an extreme that I just walk in the water up the trail. Not gonna lie, I was so proud of myself at this point. But little did I know at the time, there was still a lot to go. Still have an hour hike. No, definitely not that less. Till the end of the sixth or seventh hour, we finally made it close to the Alpine Lake. Both my legs and my inner self are exploding. Really exploding. So, this is a rather legendary story to tell. We would have walked another four hours out of the mountains, but on the way out, we met this couple with the Jeep. They were nice enough to let us on, but there weren't enough seats. So Ryan and I hang on the outside of the Jeep, holding the door handles while the Jeep was driving. It was truly legendary. My time in Colorado feels like a daydream. I don't know where this dream is gonna go. At that moment, what means the most to me was friendship, food, and nature. That's all that matters. I am Mentaurus, and see you next episode. Go, go. Antares, let's go la! Moisey, I'll take a look. Take a look. Take a